talk about our seed starting kit and I just wanted to go over real quick what's included with our seed starting system. It comes with a heavy duty tray. This is a thick piece of plastic that will last you a long time. It comes with a blackout cover. Uh, this is what you cover the seeds with when you're sprouting. It comes with a container. This is a 32 ounce container and it has a, a couple of holes in the bottom so that when you place this in here, it automatically waters your seeds and it keeps them at exactly the right height, the right level. Uh, it comes with a little media guard and that protects your uh, watering container so that when your pebbles are in here, you can take this out, fill it back up, put it back in and it doesn't flood it with pebbles. Uh, then it comes with 30 of these net pots and this is for uh, another technique that we'll show you on how to sprout seeds with. It comes with a bag of the uh, hydrogen clay pebbles and it comes with some seed packs and a lot of these seeds we actually harvested ourselves. This butter crunch lettuce is uh, usually every year we harvest a lot of the seeds and my daughters did these so it comes with some of those and so let's uh, go through two different methods that we'll talk about. So we're going to start with the net pot method. This is when you would want to sprout some seeds and you could quickly very easily take them straight from your seed starting kit and put it right into your aquaponic system very fast, easy, and uh, with absolutely no shock to the plant. So the way that we do that is we start off with a two inch net pot. We put some pebbles in there. Uh, maybe about halfway. We'll fill it up about halfway. And we'll just place it in our tray. And we'll do that for as many seeds as we uh, want to get started. Okay, I'm not going to fill up this entire thing just for demonstration purposes. I want to show you what we do. So what I like to do is uh, go ahead and pour. You're going to need probably one or two cups of these to get started with. And you definitely want to use aquaponic water. Water that you're already going to be growing the plants in because the pH is exactly the same. Uh, all the nutrition levels are the same so there's no shock to your plant. That's why we want to always start our seeds with the same water we're going to be growing in. If you don't have an aquaponic system, if you're doing this for your garden or another uh, situation, you can use any kind of water as long as it doesn't have chlorine in it. So you want to have a filter or something. So anyway, we're going to pour a couple of cups of water in here until we get about a half inch of water. And what I like to do is pour the water over the pebbles. Because when I pour it over the pebbles, uh, and I come back in a minute and put seeds on there, the seeds will stick and not bounce off of the pebbles. So as I pour this in, I just put it right over those pebbles and I just want to go ahead and pour this entire container in here it's better to have too much water than to not have enough so uh, the thing is we want the water to level to rise high enough that it exceeds our holes in our in our lid so then we'll take our seeds and we'll just sprinkle probably two seeds we want to be careful that the seeds don't bounce out. After you've put all your seeds in there, then you go ahead and grab some more pebbles. <clears throat> Cover those seeds up. If you get some pebbles in this other section, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna hurt anything. So you'll do that all the way. <clears throat> and then as you'll notice on our container, we have a hole, have a couple of holes. <clears throat> this is the tricky part. You're gonna flip this upside down and then put it down into the water. As this water evaporates and the seeds begin to use it up, <clears throat> this water level will go down to keep it maintained at exactly the proper height. So you just wanna check on it every couple of days. Make sure that there's water in your reservoir here. When you run out, go to your aquaponics and fill it up again. Keep this in a dark place for uh, probably two to three days, maybe maybe longer depending on what kind of seed that you're sprouting. And so you just want to check on it, <clears throat> make sure you got enough water. When your seeds get up and they're sprouted out to about an inch or so, then you'll take the cover off and you'll move this to a well-lit window or if you have a, a indoor grow bulb, you can grow like that. Uh, after they get to two, three inches tall, then you just simply take the net pot out with the sprouted seedling and drop it straight into your raft bed and it can't get any easier than that. So I wanted to show you a few seedlings that are already sprouted out here. These are actually my daughter's. She has her own little garden section and 
Uh, if you want to check her out, she's I'm the Goat Girl on YouTube. Just type that in. She's got a lot of goat videos. That's what she's really into. But I want to show you how to uh, replenish the system with water. So we have aquaponic water. These sprouts are, I want to say, about four to five days, maybe six days old. So we just take our water, we flip it upside down, and it will uh, water these guys. You know, I've searched for a long time for a good seed starting system, and when I discovered, came across this technique, it just blew me away. I thought this was wonderful if it will work. And so I'll, we've been using this technique and testing this for over a year. Really, really like it. The, uh, this is what I, I call the broadcast method. If you're wanting to start a lot of seeds and you don't need a net pot, if you know you're going to be transplanting them directly into more pebbles, or if you're going to go into a soil garden and you don't need the net pot, then this might be a better method. Uh, the only problem with this one is that there is going to be a chance that you could damage the plants when you uh, take them out. We'll talk about that in just a second. So you fill up your uh, tray with clay pebbles. We need just a few more over here in this corner. Now we already have two full cups of aquaponic water in the bottom of this, so it's going to maintain about a half inch to three quarters of an inch of water, which is perfect. Eventually the top of this will become moist because it will wick or soak upward to an extent. And what we'll do now is we'll just take our seeds and we'll just broadcast them out over the top. Now if you're going to do all the same seeds, that makes this really easy. You can just put them anywhere you want. But if you want to have different kinds, maybe four different kinds of seeds, then I just scatter a few over here. I scatter a few over here, some more over here, you get the idea. Then you just take your hand and just kind of work them down into the pebbles. And that's really it. So we'll watch our water level, we'll make sure that we have water in here on a daily basis. I'll go ahead and cover these for three, four days depending on what it is that we're sprouting. Once those seeds sprout and they're an inch or so in height, we'll remove the cover, we'll place them under light, in either uh, like a 6500 Klevin bulb inside or if we have a well-lit window. Then to get those seeds out, you stick your hand in and from underneath, you kind of help those plants upward. And then you, you pull them out so you've got a perfect plant and then you can go and transplant that directly into the soil or into another pebble bed. So that is the broadcast method. This is a really great growing technique. I highly encourage you to use it, and I think you have a lot of success.